as overlanders, we've probably seen our fair share of these. In a single trip, you could probably see a million, but have you seen one of these? A red guide post. It's an initiative that's been taken up, and 33 New South Wales local government authorities, 33 out of 37, have taken this initiative on. But what is it? What does it signify? It means that somewhere between here and there, on this verge, on this side of the road, is a weed infestation. All the way until you see the next one that says end. It's actually illegal to drive in the weed infestation. And if you do, you'll contaminate your caravan, your camper trailer, your four x four and yourself. And the next time that you go through a water crossing or a bog hole, or just bush bushing through some grass, what's going to happen is that seed and weed is going to fall off and you're going to create a new infestation. I've asked Ian from the ACT All Terrain Club to come down to, to give us his vehicle to have a little bit of a look through. He assures me that he's never washed underneath the vehicle, so I want to have a look. But the bleeding obvious is even inside the, the, the footwell and the car seat cover, you've got to get the seeds out of the car seat cover and look down here. Every time you hop out of the vehicle, dust, seeds, pollen, fungus, uh, nematodes, parasites, every time you hop out two or three hundred kilometres down the road, you've transported weed, seeds and pests into a new agricultural area because you've just stopped 300 k's down the road. That's contamination and that's a problem for our agricultural industry and our environment in whole. There's a whole bunch of obvious places here to wash. You're going to be washing your wheel and your rim and obviously the mud guard and all that sort of stuff. But what you need to do as well is get in behind these gaps. Don't just wash the surfaces, wash in behind. So put the hose down in here to get in behind it. And one of the obvious ones here is you'll wash around the chassis rail that you've got here um, just to get rid of all that dirt. But that's the stuff you're going to do on the top. What I want to show you and what my physical challenge is, is to everybody out there is to put a hose through one of these inspection ports and wash out the inside of the box channel chassis and watch what comes out of there. That's a real issue because when you go for a Ford and you're going for a, a water crossing, the water will get inside your chassis and it will wash out the seeds and the pests and the disease and the funguses. So now you've transported it into a river system. So that might not even become localised infestation, it'll go downstream. That's a real issue for our environment. If you don't wash your recovery gear in between time, look at all this plant material. <laughs> no, I didn't put that there. That's you. Look, there's seeds right there. So the next time you get bogged, you pull this out. Now you could be in a different state because you get around a lot, but you're going to deposit that into a new location. And that's a problem not only for our environment and our endemic plants and animals, but also to the agricultural region that you're now in. So when you're looking at it, the amount of money that our farmers spend on just weeds, not parasites and stuff alone, is $1.5 billion. And there's $2.5 billion of loss um, production. So that's $4 billion that weeds cost our agricultural system every single year. It's not a showroom beauty clean of your caravan or your 4x4. You're physically going to get in and under it to have a look like Right here, you've got some cabling and there's some grass stuck in there. There's, down there on the shocking, we've got concretion over there on the, the brake housing. Let's physically get in there here with a hose and clean it out. wanted to be a reasonable and responsible citizen of Australia because we love it, which is why we travel so much, you'd clean it every bioregion or every agricultural region that you go through so you don't transfer diseases and weeds and pests from one to the other.